This video is for Chapter 9, Section 9.2, for the math activity, Slopes of Geoboard Line Segments. We'll explore slopes and we'll use line segments and rectangular geoboards. You can use a hand geoboard, a virtual geoboard, and it's good to have rectangular geoboard paper to record your work. You can download rectangular geoboard paper from our website. In question one, we look at the slope of a line segment AB, and the details are on this picture. When you go to the right, that's a run of positive 3 from A, and then when you go up to B, that's a rise of positive 2. So the slope of this line segment, rise over run, is 2 over 3. In part, in question 1, we ask you to label the rise, the run, and the slope for each of these line segments. And as the line gets steeper, what happens to these numerical slopes? You might find it handy to label those right triangles and draw lines in to mark your rise and run on each line segment. Then in question two, we go the other direction and we give you slopes and ask you to draw line segments. Even on the small five pin by five pin geo boards, there are likely to be multiple line segments with this with these given slopes. You just need to sketch one. In part three, we have two line segments, one horizontal and one vertical. The horizontal line segment C D has a run of three and a rise of zero. It doesn't go up at all. So the slope is zero, that's the rise, over the run, three, which is zero. So the slope of this line is zero. Then when we look at E and F, it has a rise of two, but no run, since there's no horizontal movement. Since the formula for slope is rise over run and two over zero is not defined, we say the slope of such line segments, vertical lines, is not defined. It's often said also to have undefined slope. Then for question three, we ask you to sketch line segments on the geoboard that satisfy the following conditions. Length of four, slope of zero, length of three, an undefined slope, length of one, an undefined slope. And again, you might have multiple correct line segments. In part four, we note there are 24 line segments with 12 distinct slopes that have a lower left point on the geoboard as an endpoint and so we have two drawn here. So this is the end point. This one here, this one right here is the end point on all of them. And we ask you to sketch all 12 line segments with different slopes and label the slopes. And you will probably find it helpful to use more than one geoboard. Things tend to overlap. And remember, vertical line segments won't be used here since they have undefined slope. And make a list of those 12 slopes and write them in increasing order from smallest to greatest. That's it for math activity 9.2. I hope you have fun thinking about slopes and how you can work with slopes with kids on something simple like a geoboard.